that invisible presence that enraptures a woman and captivates the male. Information, please. How is it made? The basis of all fine perfume is its bouquet, and this is yielded by essential oils extracted from fruits, flowers, wood, barks, and roots from all corners of the globe. Aromatic resins and paste are more than worth their weight in gold. From the perfume factory's safe, the precious stuff is carried to the laboratory where quantities are measured with microscopic accuracy. <laughs> Judging to a feather's weight, the ingredients of a perfume requires the master's touch. Other components mixed in to produce fine perfumes may include certain animal products, ambergris from Wales, worth 20,000 pounds a block. These components have the power to make the perfume last. Today's perfumer, the alchemist of inhaled loveliness, has 1,500 products at his command. His methods range from distillation to enfleurage the absorption of oil from petals by treatment with natural fats. But good perfume must stand for many months before reaching maturity and be true to the nature of its origin. Extraneous elements have now been extracted from the perfume and the final product, the mixture of animal, vegetable and chemical ingredients, is, in the words of an old Egyptian proverb, a pleasant perfume that rejoices the heart. All that remains now is for the precious liquid to be bottled. Perfume got its name from the Romans, the Latin per fumo, meaning through smoke the aroma of certain woods and grasses. Modern perfume is the product of precious natural ingredients and laboratory skill. Perfume, the very breath of beauty. <laughs>